Let's go. Let's go get a poppy. So today, I'm so excited. We're finally picking up our puppy. We've waited a year and a half for this and we cannot be more excited. It's a 45 minute drive and it's just started. So come along with us for this crazy ride of getting a puppy. In preparation for our puppy, we bought some toys for it, just getting it ready with its bed and bowls. So let's rewind a bit and I'll show you a few days prior to, to this day. So today's the 16th of February, 2022, and it's three days before we pick up our puppy. So I just thought I'd jump on the camera and show you what we've done to prepare for our puppy, what we've bought it, Yes, we've gone a bit overboard with its toys and all the things we need for a puppy. We're just super excited and we just can't wait to have our little puppy in our hands. So let me show you what we've bought. This is the setup actually behind me. So this is actually a little play pen that my friend had. So we were lucky that we were able to use this. And then we've set up a little uh, area for it behind us. That's when we're home. We do also have a little area for when we go to work because both me and Kyle do work, unfortunately. So there will be times when um, the dog and the pup, puppy dog will be at home by itself. But we're gonna train it to, you know, have not that separation anxiety and to be able to be on its own. When it's a bit older, it will be outside, but we do have to get do some work to the yard to puppy proof that and to um, get a bit, bit better fence for it. But until then, we've got a little area for it. We probably try to do some crate training with it, see how that goes. We do have a crate um, behind me and I'll show you the crate a bit closer up, but we're really lucky. We bought that off Facebook Marketplace, so secondhand, and there are quite a few things we bought secondhand. Work perfectly and do the job. Um, and saves us a ton of money. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so guys, those of you who are on Instagram or my Facebook probably already know the name because the name and the you know revealing we got a puppy will be out before this vlog. However, I'll show you the name now to reveal it on YouTube. Um, this is, it's gonna be its toy box and I actually did just a little bit of DIY craft with some wording and stuff and its name. I might buy a professional sticker eventually, but I just did a little bit of playing around because I was excited. So, this is the reveal. I don't know if it's the right way around on the camera, but basically the dog's name is Akimbo. So, A-K-I-M. B-O, we're getting a girl, and so Akimbo probably can be gender neutral. But yeah, so I've got Akimbo's toys and then little paw prints here. And then this is, yeah, this is basically gonna be um, her toy box. She is a uh, Labradoodle, medium size. Uh, hopefully she doesn't get too big. And so very similar to my dog that you would have seen in other vlogs, Dusty. She's 15 now. She's a Labradoodle as well. Um, I think this one may be a bit bigger than Dusty's going to be, but we'll see. Let's get into what I've bought. Ah, so this one here is going to be super... It's gonna be really good for the dog. So this is a ball. I just might as well open it up. So you can see how there's those edges there and you open them up. So technically, so basically what you do is you pop the treats inside there. And then the dog has to try to get all the treats out of the ball. So I thought this would be a good one for when me and Kyla are at work. Um, just to occupy and give it something to do. <laughs> yes, it says Adidog. It's a little rip off of Adidas. 
and yes I know this uh, actually won't last long because it's so small but I thought I just had to get it because it's pink and it, it's so cute so cute Oh, so this one here, these are not toys, you can read that. So these are reusable puppy pads, just bought from Kmart, so quite cheap. Basically, they're a bit like, they're not a blanket. They've just got this padding, thick material padding, absorbable, I, sp I suppose, um, for if there's any accidents. And we can lay this down over the carpet to save the carpet from getting... Um, dirty so I thought they would come in handy <laughs> this is one of my favorite toys um, Dusty has one of these and they're just really good quality and um, so this brand here is Dro Drooly Dog by Master Pets um, and we've had one for our dog and it's just lasted a long time um, we got one in the bigger size purely because um, this might mimic the puppy's brothers and sisters so it might make it feel a bit more comfortable and it could snuggle into it and then when it's bigger it can play with it and there's squeaky toys in it so yeah this one I think is well worth it this one it's <laughs> just a bit of a silly pink giraffe I don't know what you call it but yeah can chew on that and wreck it this one actually I picked up at an op shop um, we got it a few teething toys because we know it's important for puppies of course bright pink what else so yeah this one coming quite handy for it to chew up another one this has got a bell in it we got it a grooming little kit just a cheap one for now we have a friend Tori who's a dog groomer or used to be a dog groomer so she'll probably groom our dog for us but I just thought while at home when we need to brush it every day we can just use this little kit little scooper for the dog food and I'll actually show you where we're gonna store our dog food in a minute this is gonna be its collar and lead hopefully it fits it we've got a smaller collar for when for now when it, well it's a puppy but as it grows bigger we're hoping so it's a matching collar and lead it's got rose gold attachments I don't know if you can see yeah so I don't know if you can see how beautiful that sparkle is and the lead is exactly the same so Yes, it's going to be a very girly dog, but I love it. We do have another lead here. This one's a bit more for like the beach. I just think it was cute as well, the white and um, tan color. This is from Kmart as well. They're all, they're all from Kmart. So I think Kmart's got such a great pet range at the moment. We might have gone overboard with its leads because we bought this one as well, but this is quite a big um, lead if it needs to be on a bit longer lead and probably come in handy for dog training because the other pink one's probably not that appropriate for dog training. This one here we bought ages ago when we thought we were getting the puppy and it's absolutely tiny this jacket so it's only going to fit it probably in the first few days. It'll be cute for photos so keep an eye on my Insta. So this is actually called uh, a shirt so it is a Christmas shirt and I think it's cute because if you've seen my Christmas vlogs, this is going to match perfectly with me and Kyle's um, pyjamas, mine and Kyle's pyjamas. Uh, it's gingerbread and it's, yeah, it's super cute. It's going to be tiny when the puppy, like by the time Christmas comes, because it'll be a year old then, um, it's going to be tiny. But what it is, is actually a shirt. So it doesn't have to fit the whole length of it. it <laughs> this one is so cute. I love this one. It's like pink stars. Yeah, it's really cute. Dog lead. Like so. This one I think is one of the cutest toys. The pink monkey. This one was my latest purchase from Target. And I think it's really cool. So it's basically a dog um, drink bottle. So just take it off there. 
um, you feel the bottom and it's actually got a handle um, so you can put it on your hand and hold the bottle um, so yeah fill the bottle up screw this on and then it's got an open lock channel so you just open that up and then a little bit of water pours out and they can drink from the bottle but you can also close it up so it doesn't leak out. So I think that is a really genius idea. Okay, so this is um, the setup from afar. Um, so it's near our back door, one of our back doors. Um, so this is the crate I was telling you about. Um, really easy to fold up. And then this little cute bed. I know this bed's not gonna like last long at all because it's quite small but we're going to pick the puppy up in this little bed and have it on my lap and yeah it's just a little another little bed that it can lay around in i'll take you up to where we're going to have the food the bowls and where it's going to sleep at night and where it's going to be staying when we're at work by the way guys i am quickly filming this and then i'm going off to uni for the day uni started back this week and it's already it's already giving me anxiety. First thing you'll notice is we have a little baby gate. So normally, um, actually I haven't really put up, a, oh yeah, we have. So normally this is just a, an opening. Um, so this is our kitchen and it's just a opening into the laundry um, slash pantry. Um, so yeah, a gate really works perfect here. This is the spot where the puppy is going to be sleeping at night and to be staying during the day. This is its dog food. So I actually got the bin off Ikea and I got that delivered to us. And then the sticker I ordered online from a girl that did them. And yeah, I think it works really well. It's a 40 liter tub. So, and we've got bought it little treats training treats by love them um, so we are going to be using royal canine so this particular um, box here is actually wet food um, and in particular for a medium-sized puppy 11 to 25 kilos so it, it is particularly for puppies and that is recommended royal canine I've heard is very good and it is in their premium range so I think that's important for puppies when they're growing and developing their bones. When I open this bin up, we've got all the dog food. So that was 40 liters it filled, which is good. So fast forward back to, well, today's the 19th of February, 2022, and we are picking up our puppy. I cannot be more excited. So a little bit of background. Our puppy is, a lab, is going to be a Labradoodle uh, chocolate color, I hope. Um, and she's a girl and you've probably been on my Instagram and Facebook by now by the time this video uploads but we are calling the puppy Akimbo so A-K-I-M-B-O yes it's a bit of a unique name and it's a funny story because the name comes from one of our paint samples it doesn't feel real until we actually have the puppy Kimbo's here. Oh, she's so small. Hello. Welcome to the family. And they gave us a little pink bow. Hello. Hello. 
I think we won't be letting you lick our faces though. That's a bad habit. <laughs> You're so cute, aren't you? I'm sorry, your brothers and sisters. I think this collar is going to be too big for it. <laughs> oh, what, what is that? Oh no, she spotted the biscuits. No, not yet. Oh, because she hasn't been fed. No. When you get home, we'll feed you. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. No, look at her now. She's like, all oh, food? There must be. Labradoodles are very food orientated. I know, sorry. Sorry. She's falling asleep. That's so cute. Oh my god. So we've picked up a Kimbo and we're just in love. And she's so much smaller than I thought she was going to be. Um, she seems a little bit overwhelmed, I think. A little bit scared. But hopefully she settles in at home. She'll get her own little personality. She's in there somewhere. Yeah, she probably is cold. Because you've got the aircon going. She's whined, she's cried, she's been fed, she's pooed, weed, all of the above. Yeah. And we're just trying to distract her with some of the toys. She's having a drink. Trying to distract her, get her used to our house. Yeah. She hasn't had a sleep yet. She had a little bit of a sleep in the car, but that was about it. You can smell food on my hands, yeah. We're just so in love with Akimbo already. That tail. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. No. They both tuck it out. Puppy's fast asleep and Kyle. Adorable. This gives me a chance because I actually have a maths exam on Monday. So I've got a fair bit of uni work to do. So this gives me a chance to catch up on some uni work. What do you think of the puppy? She's so cute! <laughs> Does that make sense? Hi! Hey. 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 She's settling in. Yeah. 
God, taking off. He's like, this is too much. The puppy's too much for him. He's out of here. He's leaving. He's got his back. Good morning. It's the next day. So day two of having our puppy. And it went not too bad. We did get pretty sleepless night. And this is where... Carl has ended up. So he's on a mattress on the floor and our puppy's in the black crate there. Having her morning brekkie, which she seems to love. Although she did have a few vomits this morning, so I'm hoping this doesn't upset her tummy even more. So it's time for Akimbo's first bath, she thinks, <laughs> and you can hear her crying in the background, but yeah, she's not going to like it, I don't think. In she goes. It's bath really, time. It's really hard to them. Yeah, I'll put in the light. Oh, there we go. Look like a little drowned rat. It's gonna smell so much better. <laughs> Our first fish and chip picnic with our puppy. Kimbo. No time to be honest with you. before we go in. Oh, and I think someone else has arrived. She's gonna have to get up to get up. Okay. Kimbo, on your bed. On your bed. Good girl. Gonna win. 
Akimbo's new toy from Poppy Preschool. Learning to walk. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Here are some photos of our new puppy in her first month with us. Don't forget to check Akimbo's own Instagram page out. Like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.